Hi guys, welcome back. Uh, so tonight we're going to tie a type of a daddy long legs. It's a really easy uh, type of daddy long legs. It only has three materials in it. Uh, so what I have here is a B130, which is a, a type of a Camazan uh, wet fly hook. And I quite like the, the shape of this one for these sort of flies. The eye is not just as much of a down eye. Uh, so we're using black thread here, uh, but I'm only going to attach it for this first, what, third maybe of the hook. So the three materials we're going to use is uh, knotted pheasant tail. We're going to use a craft foam sheet. And we're going to use a uh, hackle, so a brown hackle. So really simple. We take our... Uh, Not a fat and tail, take half a dozen or so of those. And I'm going to tie them in backwards and leave them to sit there. Now, I'm not even going to trim these bits off here because if you look really closely at a daddy long legs, it actually has these little counterpoisey things for its wings which stick out, and I think these sort of imitate that. So I leave them there. So, with the foam sheet, what I've done is just to take scissors or a knife. I'll cut a strip of it, so the whole way along. Now, you can use it just like this, or what I've done with it is to just flame it a little bit. Be careful because it's very flammable, and we get these sort of burnty brown edges on it. I'll cut that off at about an inch long or so. And what I'm going to do, because foam can tend to cut whenever you try to, to tie it in, is to tie it in quite tight at the front and then a little bit looser towards the back. Then I'm just going to fold these legs back and tie them in again tighter at the front. So to finish the fly off what we're going to do is I'm going to take one of these sort of like little saddle capes. This is a, it's like a ginger cree type uh, cape and what I'm going to do is take one longer feather and one shorter feather from it so I'm going to match those up for their tips with the wing with the good sides pointing together so that means that the feathers will sort of stick out a little bit like a V and then I'm just going to, at the point where I'm going to tie them in, I'm going to separate the fibers back. Then we'll tie that in on the top. Separate one out to each side. And tie backwards. So now the short feather, I'm going to snap off. And the long feather, I'm going to wind. Now it is tied in by its tip. So we just wind that backwards, back towards our thread. And I want a little bit of the webby stuff in there. So the idea is that this fly could be fished sort of wet or in the surf film or it could be ginked up and be totally dry. So we wrap through the hackle and that secures it in place and then we need to just get in and split the stock of that. Fold all these fibres back. And make ourselves a little head. Finish that. You can use a whip finish tool. I use my fingers. And a touch of varnish on the head to set that in place. So that's the fly finished, and hopefully, you'd agree it's a really simple way of tying. Daddy long legs. I think the foam colour of that is like a tan foam, uh, and with that burn along it, just makes it look quite realistic. As I said, 
you could fish this fly with no floating on it whatsoever and it'll probably just sit sort of crippled in the in the surface film or you could apply a floatant and uh, use it as a full type dry uh, so hopefully you like what you see if you do give us a like subscribe tell your friends and uh, until next time tight lines and thanks for watching